hello students today i am going to discuss chapter 3 extra questions of grade 7 my last refuge on instruction do not write all the question answers today itself take time you can do top 5 questions today 6 to 10 plus think and do you can do it later on divide the work properly for two days and do the work accordingly do not exhaust yourself let us discuss the first question which two characters are introduced in the opening of the chapter billy and his father second question what was grandfather's opinion about the horse means what did grandfather say when he was looking at the horse with his grandson the grandfather said that if the ladies liked him they would take him and he would be able to give him a good home where he could be comfortable and happy because the horse was there to be sold grandfather and the grandson both had gone to see the horse and by looking at the horse the grandfather says that if the ladies liked him means further this horse will again be handed over to the ladies which are introduced already in the lesson so like this the horse will also have a happy place where he can be comfortable and happy who did willy ask for after ringing the bell he asked for miss bloomfield and miss ellen as soon as grandson and grandfather they reached home billy rang the bell and he called out he asked for these two ladies after ringing the bell fourth question why was miss bloomfield nervous about riding behind a horse miss bloomfield was nervous about riding behind a horse because she had once been down hence she was nervous to assume that it might happen again once sometimes ago miss bloomfield had an experience that he fell down from the horse so this time also by looking at the horse she assumes she thinks that she might fall again therefore she is little bit nervous she decides not to ride on the horse fifth question who came to see the horse the other day what was his name a well dressed lad came to see the horse on one day his name was joe green as you go through the story you'll come to know a well dressed fellow had come to see the horse and luckily it is narrated that both of them recognize each other of course the horse couldn't express it that he recognized him but it was joe green who told that he himself was joe green he told to the horse lately later on horse really liked the compassion that he got from joe green question number 6 why was joe green disappointed to see the horse what did he say to mr thorogood so dear students top 5 questions you can write down if possible for you please go ahead but do not overburden yourself or exhaust yourself by writing all the questions at once so this is my request balance your work and show your smartness so sixth question why was joe green disappointed to see the horse why did he say what did he say to mr thorogood 
Joe Green was disappointed to see the injured knees of the horse. He complained to Mr. Thorogood that he had not selected a good horse for the ladies. According to the story, you know that this boy had come to see the horse and when he sees that horse's knees are injured, he remarks to Mr. Thorogood saying that he has made a mistake in selecting a good horse. Question number seven. What did Mr. Thorogood say to Joe Green on his complaint? When Mr. When Joe Green said that he had not selected a good horse, to his reply, Mr. Thorogood says, according to the answer, Mr. Thorogood asked him to pass the judgments only after observing both man and animal. He firmly says, please do not overjudge anything. He used an idiom saying that judge both man and horse by his deeds. Of course, Mr. Thorogood did not like the comment that he made or remarked. So therefore, he suggested him. He told him, first you judge the deed of the horse, then only you come to any conclusion. Question number 8. How did Joe Green recognize that the horse was none other than Black Beauty? Joe Green was his groom as he touched his neck and found out where he had bled. There was a scar on scar of the injury. One white foot on the offside and the little patch of white on the back. These all signs indicated that the horse was none other than Black Beauty, exactly the one as he had seen in his childhood. So some of the mark injuries. Injury uh, mark you can say the horse had on his body. So Joe Green when he was young he had almost killed the horse this is what you will come across the lesson when you read it so once he was trying to ride on the, this particular horse so this horse got all these scars and marks on his body by looking at all these joe green says that you are none other than the black beauty question number nine who took a ride on the horse one evening? What did she remark about the horse? Miss Ellen took a ride on the horse. After the ride, she told her sisters how happy she was with the horse. And the horse had actually been Square Garden's horse. Square Garden's horse is a place where this particular horse was already been uh, kept once so he was also gone many, to many different hands and he had this different experiences therefore after square garden's horse now this horse has become uh, to th this per horse has come to this particular house where these uh, three girls are taking care of the horse who is called Black Beauty in the story? How do you relate the name of the lesson to it? So this is your 10th question. The horse in this story is called Black Beauty. So the horse has got this name that is Black Beauty. The name of the lesson, my last refuge, is a finally... A kind of justice with the horse. The horse finally gets a home where he is living happily. He loves his work and he feels purposeful. This is the place where he feels that his strength and enthusiasm for life is slowly coming back. Here he feels, yes, he's, he should he feels worth living therefore he calls it my last refuge 
this is see the meaning of refuge is called home so he gets a home there and he is very happy so i'm also giving you a few questions that you have to think and write these answers may vary you can write in your own words at least 50 to 80 words you can write it down whatever you understand on the basis of your reading of the chapter you have to write it how you feel it i hope you have understood these questions well i repeat no need to write the whole extra questions uh, at once and burden yourself or exhaust yourself by doing a lot of work you can manage it smartly balance the work and keep learning the things if you don't understand anything just ask me the questions through either whatsapp or through yulo you are most welcome i will be guiding you at any time thank you enjoy your day